In my endless quest to learn all things tech, I've come to a modern city devoted to peace. I'm George Takei, and this is Takei's Take, Hiroshima. In the aftermath of the Hiroshima bombing, the gruesome reality of the atomic bomb emerged. The lasting effects of radiation. To study these terrifying consequences, the United States founded the Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission, or ABCC, in 1947. Over the years, it has reorganized to become the Radiation Effects Research Foundation. RERF's mission is to conduct research and studies for peaceful purposes on the medical effects of radiation and associated diseases on survivors. And I come here today because I hear they use new technology to do it. I meet with RERF representative Jeffrey Hart. My grandparents came yeah. from Hiroshima. Whenever I visit here, my relatives have pointed out this facility up in the is mountains. That right? I must say this is my first visit here. We were viewed somewhat negatively as the Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission because it did remind people of army barracks. Oh. And so what is it that you do in terms of researching the effects of radiation? We look at populations of A-bomb survivors and follow them over their lifetimes. Their cooperation and incredible sacrifice have given us a window into radiation health effects. Even the national government indirectly used our data to create the evacuation zones around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Interestingly, um, my grandmother was affected by the bombing in Hiroshima, and she lived to 104 years old. I would say that that's extraordinary, although I don't have information about your grandmother in terms of how much radiation she was exposed to. With that in mind, actually, I think we should talk with Dr. Harry Collins, who is the chief of the Department of Statistics. We're working on using a geographical information system to get more accurate locations for the survivors in our studies. With a very accurate location, we can get the best available estimates of each person's distance from the bomb. So why is it important to have these more accurate maps? The radiation dose that a person received from the bomb depends critically on the distance from the person to the bomb. And so what we need is a more accurate map of the city as it existed prior to the atomic bombing. Can you tell me how you go from uh, the old historic maps to using technology to get uh, fine detailed maps? This is the mosaic of aerial photographs that were taken by reconnaissance aircraft just before the bombings. Oh, before the bombing. Just before the bombings. They've been geometrically corrected to be of uniform scale. And so we have essentially a very accurate photographic map and we can relate that location to anything else that we can accurately locate by modern GPS technology. These were once surveillance maps used to plot a bombing now being used for a new purpose, a new mission, to help rather than destroy. Now we can use this as a bridge in time and space to go back to a very accurate picture of the city at the time of the bombing. We can Earth. see individual houses. We there. can see the individual houses on these orthophotos. But George, I want to show you something. I think I can show you the location of your grandparents' house. Oh, that and would so be fantastic. I found it was here, oh. about 2,000 meters from the hypocenter, and this is the location of your grandparents' house. Well, thank you for that. My grandparents survived the uh, bombing, but they were inside the house, and the house collapsed on them and later started burning. Uh, can you tell me uh, whether that was uh, a contributor to their survival? Yes, I think so. The distance was certainly a factor. And so well, she there, lived there were long. a substantial number of survivors at 1,400 meters or so. I see. There were, there were almost no survivors at distances less than about one kilometer. It's great to see it in, in context with the rest of the city and where the epicenter was. Thank you so much, Dr. Collins. 
It's been a very moving ex experience for me. This is my pleasure. I'm glad I could show it to you. Thank you very much. For the first time ever, technology can show me the exact location of my grandmother's house. I am ready to use this map to connect with my family in a new way. People of Hiroshima wanted to keep that as a reminder. This is me, 12 years old, my mother, my father, my Aunt Yukiko. 